Hello and welcome back. Today we're out in our 6x12 greenhouse heated by compost and we had about 10 degrees, maybe 9, 10 degrees Fahrenheit overnight temps and we had a windshield of negative 3 so it was frigid last night. Very, very cold. Everything's frozen outside, frozen solid. So I wanted to come out here. I haven't been in this greenhouse for about a week and we haven't had much sun in that week that I haven't been out here. So everything is working perfectly this morning and this is what we're banking on. Everything operating at autonomously and on its own when we've got very very cold temperatures this is what saves our butt in this little greenhouse we don't have the appropriate insulation on the ground outside our greenhouse we didn't get our hay bales in so i'm finding that the closest three inches to the wall is becoming frozen and having frost on it but everything inside that little range is warm inside our greenhouse and is not frozen no frost on it even when there's no sunlight for days one more observation i made on this little greenhouse inside a greenhouse i ended up pulling the poly up and putting some pvc in there to hoop it up because I wanted a little bit of breathing room. We were having so much humidity and moisture buildup that it was just dripping and drenching everything. And then when we have cold, cold nights, that just creates bad conditions for your plants. And we don't want all of our plants and sprouts saturated in moisture in there, especially on these very, very cold, frigid nights. So let's take a look at all of the observations I'm making here. We've got our little thermometer. It's about 20 degrees outside is what it's reading. I think it's actually colder than that right now. We're sitting about 58 degrees at 11 o'clock in the morning in our greenhouse here here's our little thermometer I had set outside so let's take a look under this bed we've gotten some decent growth on all of these plants we've got tons of sprouts coming up down there everything looking wonderfully in here actually and I'm showing this little gap I've got here we've got about four to six inch gap on this entire bed to keep a little bit of airflow in there but still capture all of that heat transferring off of the floor into the top of this little greenhouse in the greenhouse we've still got all of our little sprouts out here we haven't transplanted everything out yet I want to get some temps for our water here Water's only sitting about 53, 54. Kick our little system on here. Pumping about 54 degrees, 55 degrees out of our water, which is slowly losing heat as it runs through our pile and transfers to the floor. So we're pumping about 55 degrees plus right now. That's just as it started, as I kicked our little system on here. Got about 70 degrees inside the base so we're blowing about 70 degree air 70.9 degree air inside the greenhouse it is absolutely amazing that we are able to achieve that kind of heat inside a greenhouse i can see my breath steaming up as we're transferring heat with the outside in here so i just wanted to come out and show some real-time experience and real-time data for what we're doing here and how we're actually operating this by not really checking on it. We didn't want to come out here throughout the week to let any extra heat out during the day because we didn't really have any sun. So we just let it build up and hold what it holds at night. We've got a little food growing in here and it seems to be staying alive and we're keeping it well above freezing in here. So we're doing pretty good this winter, but we didn't do as good as we have the winters past. We had this much more insulated last winter and the winter before. So we're not gonna achieve the best temperatures, I don't think. Hopefully I can come up on some free or cheap straw bales because I really need to insulate the outside of the greenhouse to provide better insulation to the actual floor. We're losing all that heat constantly to transfer of the outside because the outside ground is frozen and it's constantly transferring so we're sucking all the heat from our compost and basically pushing it right out through the floor and right out through the top of our greenhouse so we're really trying to insulate these systems seem to be keeping us afloat in here and keeping everything very much alive so hopefully we can continue to run this throughout the winter without issue i want to thank everybody for watching this video and checking out what we've got going on for purely experimental growing and seeing how well we can achieve growing temperatures all winter without any electrical or any monetary gas energy input we're just trying to do this with solar power and compost